Hello and welcome to the 196th episode of The Hot Issue. As you know, at the moment, uh, the international breaking news is uh, about Israel and Hamas. And uh, we know that Hamas is the culprit. Hamas planted people in Masjid Aqsa on uh, 27th of Ramadan, who started stone pelting, and then that uh, is escalated. At that time, the Israeli soldiers were helping to secure the premises so that uh, no untoward incident takes place and the Muslims can, you know, pray and, you know, follow their 27th Ramzan rituals. However, uh, Hamas had already planted people there who went in with stones because in a, a mosque, Aqsa, how come there were stones there? We also know and we should be very clear that Mount Aqsa, uh, that uh, Mosque Aqsa is built on a Jewish site which used to be Mount uh, Temple Mount. So we're not going to go into the details of the history of Masjid Aqsa uh, right now. But uh, I would insist that uh, we support Israel and uh, those who uh, stand by Hamas today, they are either misguided or they are filled with hatred towards Israel and Jews, Israel in particular and Jews in general, which is very sad. Uh, I would like to bring to your attention the fact that uh, Pakistan is uh, one of the main uh, suppliers of weapons and money to Hamas. Pakistani military has uh, sent their SSG commandos uh, SSG naval commandos as well to uh, Gaza to train uh, Hamas uh, fighters on ground. Now I have a detailed uh, list here which I want to share with you. First of all, uh, we must uh, uh, understand that the Jews were expelled out of their lands by Muslims. You know, and that actually because they were thrown out of their own homeland, the Jews then fled and they settled in various parts of Europe and Germany. And that led to Holocaust. So uh, the uh, some of the blame of Holocaust should go to those uh, Muslim invaders who invaded Israel and uh, made uh, the Jews flee. General Rahil Sharif, who was the commander of Pakistan army uh, previously, is sitting in Saudi Arabia and posing as if he is leading an alliance of, of Muslim armies, but he is doing nothing. And it has proven that this army is an incapable army. They can only conquer their own people, Pakistani people. And they are actually committing genocide. The Pakistan army is committing a genocide in Balochistan and my homeland of Pakistani occupied Jammu Kashmir. My homeland of Jammu Kashmir is occupied by Pakistan since 1947. But Pakistan ignores human rights violations uh, in my homeland of Kash Jammu Kashmir as well as Gilgit, Bal uh, Gilgit Baltistan and Balochistan. Now, Sophia Church, as uh, you all know, has been converted into a mosque by Turkey. I mean, they can do whatever they like uh, and that is uh, legal. But uh, if we raise our voice and we try to reclaim our land uh, or reclaim our uh, rights, that becomes a, a, a cause for hue and cry across the so-called Muslim world. Now, in Pakistan, 403 temples of Hindus have been destroyed since 1947. Pakistan uh, uses women and children in Kashmir as a human shield, similar to what Hamas is doing. Hamas is using schools, hospitals, public places and densely populated neighborhoods for their as their base and they use them 
as for human shield now everyone knows that pakistan is no friend of hamas or the palestinians because pakistan actually killed more than 25000 palestinians in jordan in 19 in the late 1960s so why is pakistan supporting hamas obviously pakistan is supporting hamas because uh, they are against israel and they uh, want to uh, pretend as if they hate the jews and in that context convince the people of pakistan that they should keep sacrificing their budget uh, for defense expenses in pakistan and the perks that the generals enjoy now training of hamas terrorists by pakistan army in pakistan medical academy and other institutions i have already explained that in my previous video so you can see that and uh, in in this context you see to oman has said that uh, has raised their voice against israel pakistan turkey malaysia all these countries now let me make it very clear countries that want to mediate like is like egypt and they want to uh, find a peaceful solution and bring this uh, war to an end they are friendly countries because they see uh, war as a humanitarian disaster as a loss of la in form of loss of life and property but those countries who openly are um, to making speeches in their home countries that uh, the israel should be destroyed like ordogan said this is the time that we should teach israel a lesson what do, do they mean obviously that is a declaration of war and the united nations should take notice of this kind of uh, jingoism and rhetoric by ordogan by imran khan of pakistan and by the pakistani foreign minister as well as the pakistani uh a uh, chief of army staff general kamar javed bajwa now here is what is, what should be done the united nations security council is in session as i speak they should ban they should totally ban uh hamas across the board in every country at the moment not every country uh has banned uh, hamas or uh, declared hamas as a terrorist organization then again there are a handful of countries who only uh call the military wing of hamas terrorist this is not on the whole world should come together support israel israel is the only democracy in the middle east and the envy of the arab kings and monarchs and dictators they do not want israel to flourish they do not want uh, to establish relations with israel because once they are uh, established once the relations are established there will be tourism lot of arabs will be going and visiting israel and they will see a totally different picture women uh, that fight for emancipation in the arab world have already been emancipated in israel they the women are free they enjoy equal rights in all sectors of government and all uh, uh, all sections of society as well this war uh, will only end if pakistan disintegrates the terrorist infrastructure in pakistan disintegrates as well as defeat to tayeb ardugan takes place he is removed from power he is uh, he considers himself as a khalifa as a leader of the muslim world whereas he should tell his own people when he says that this is the time to teach israel a lesson he should tell them that turkey has become the third largest country from which israel is importing goods 5.4 billion worth of uh, exports uh, uh, were done from turkey which means that 5.4 billion dollars worth of commodities turkish commodities uh, were imported in israel so on one end you say that jerusalem is a, a deadline you remember in 2017 when american embassy 
was uh, uh, was transferred to Jerusalem then Tayyar Erdogan said that Jerusalem is the red line so but there is no red line as one journalist very rightly said when it comes to trade so these are hypocrite leaders of the muslim world they should be done away with hopefully we see that uh, the israeli uh, defense forces will uh, secure a grand victory and let me just uh, mention this as well you know when israel uh, is throwing rockets they inform uh, gaza when the israel defense forces are firing rockets before they fire they tell them that uh, we are firing rockets in this area so please evacuate so that they can pinpoint and have precision uh, hits on hamas uh, even the western media has acknowledged that uh, the israel defense forces had uh, informed this building which hosts uh, several offices of international media al jazeera and other af af uh, so uh, french uh, news agencies to evacuate the building in one hour because they are going to bomb the building so you know this is uh, the height of uh, you know kind of morality that you do not want people to lose their life civilians to lose their lives in this conflict another thing is uh hamas has uh, has fired 2800 maybe 3000 now up till now uh, missiles of israel and 430 of those missiles have fallen inside gaza and they have resulted in a loss of life so you know one has to be very careful when uh, mentioning that how many palestinians are dead because they are killing their own people because uh, their technology is uh, uh, not that advanced yet although pakistan has tried their level best to provide them with rocket launchers and all kinds of equipment uh, and iran is funding them as well uh, Uh, so finally turkey iran and pakistan this is an excess of evil that must be destroyed thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon